Hey guys, it's Brandon, by the way, that audio guy. Today we're going to learn how to add plugins in Pro Tools. So you need to head over to your track, whatever you're using. So let's just use this one. And under the inserts bar, you just click and add a plugin. Now, if that's not showing up, you can click here, right click, and make sure that the inserts is checked. Okay, or you can head over here to view, edit window views, and it is right there as well. Now, when you click, there are a few options. There is multi-channel plugin and multi-mono plugin. So multi-mono is usually mono and multi-channel is usually stereo, as you can see here. And Pro Tools by default organizes by type of plugin. So EQ, Dynamics, Pick Shift, all that stuff. So if you don't like it laid out that way, then you can head over here to Setup, Preferences, and then organize plugin menus by. Now it defaults to category, like I said, so you can change it to flat list, which is alphabetically, manufacturer, which is by the brand, like waves or native instruments, or category and manufacturer. So that combines both, so that's like this. So by doing this, you get the best of both worlds. So if you know, okay, I like Slate Digital, then you can just head right here and do virtual tape machines. Rather than fiddle through, okay, well, is it a harmonic modulation? What is it? You know, you can just go directly to the brand, but also if you just want to reach for an EQ, then it organizes it all this way. I like this layout the best personally because I feel like it works the fastest. Now, if you want to add an instrument or MIDI track, you need to make sure that your instrument track is selected. So you go here, instrument track, create that. And now that we have an instrument track set up, then you can go plug in and then go under instrument. So this organizes everything by its instrument. So when you have one of these selected, then you know that it will play a virtual instrument like FM8, uh, kick, contact, whatever it may be. So don't try and insert an instrument on your audio track and say, what's going on? Pro Tools is broken, it's not working. No, you need to insert it on an instrument track. One thing that's awesome with Pro Tools is you can toggle everything on and off or just one single plugin. So if you head over to the mix window, then you can hold command and that will bypass and turn on your plugin. If you hold Command and Option or Alt on PC, then you click and it will turn off everything on that first channel, second channel, and so forth. So that's a cool way if you have one thing across the top, like if you have the Slate VCC across the top and you want to see what difference it makes, whether it's on or off, then you can do that Command Option and just click and it will bypass everything on that line. Really convenient. Looking at it closer, you can change the plugin if you just click on this part right here. And that pulls that up. If you just click on it, then it pulls up the actual plugin click on it again to get rid of it and then it, you may notice that I have this guy open and then I go over here and click on the VTM and then it gets rid of my EQ now the way to fix that is you go right here and click on this red box so then when I go and open the VTM then that thing is still pulled up now this red box means that it will pin it okay so if we want it to be pinned open then we just click on the red box as many times as we want and it won't close out of there all right no matter what plugin we open but if you get out of these things, then it will reset. So let's get out of all of these guys, go back to our VTM, and now it is reset. All right, so that's how you add a plugin in Pro Tools. Now, before you go and freak out and say, well, my VST doesn't work in Pro Tools, Pro Tools must be broken. No, Pro Tools does not work with VSTs. Okay, it works with RTAS for 10 and earlier and AAX for 10 and later. VSTs do not work in Pro Tools. So if you go and download some VST that your friend told you about and he uses Ableton, it will not work in Pro Tools unless it is AAX or RTAS for versions 10 and earlier. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and sign up for my email list where I will send you exclusive content that I only send to the people on that list. And also head over to itsaudioguide.com and I will see you guys soon.